Hey, today I'm going to talk about the quick and the dead, comma, dead pigs, comma, ampersand, made. Our first up is The Quick and the Dead. This is a 1995 Western film directed by Sam Raimi uh, that stars Sharon Stone, uh, Gene Hackman, uh, Russell Crowe, and a really tiny little Leonardo DiCaprio. The basic premise is that uh, Sharon Stone uh, is this mysterious gunslinger who's really good at slinging guns. There is a shootout contest thing uh, that she signs up for. The movie's so good. Like, yeah, once you get through the premise, you kind of know everything that's going to happen. But it's it's definitely more about, like, the journey. Just, like, being in a Western. It's just a good Western world. And, like, everything about that world just feels right. It's really just a big homage to, like, classic Westerns. And it's done so, so well. Uh, and there's also just, like, so much camp in the movie. It's just, it's crazy fun. But then, like, don't get me wrong, this movie gets real, real dark. Like, there's some real dark stuff that happens with Leonardo DiCaprio, and I won't say what happens, but it's, ugh. All the actors do such a great job. Sharon Stone is just such a badass, and obviously, like, beyond beautiful in this as well. Like, I don't even know how to, like, compliment her properly, because she just does everything right. Uh, Gene Hackman is... He is just hamming it up, but he's also just, like, so intimidating. It's great. He just, he nails this. Leonardo DiCaprio is just adorable in this. He's, like, 20 years old and just plays, like, this cocky, cute kid. And he just, it's the role he was born to play, and it's so good. The, the weakest link of the main cast is definitely Russell Crowe. He's just kind of there. I don't know. He, he's, he's fine. But like when everyone else does such a good job, he's just, and he's just fine. You can, you can feel that difference. Also, Keith David is in this movie. It's just nice to see him in more stuff. So yeah, I love the hell of this movie. I recommend the hell of it. It's so good. So much fun. And just, ah, uh, here for a good time. It's such a good movie. Ah. Uh, the next up is... Dead Pigs. This is a 2019 Chinese movie directed by the woman who directed Birds of Prey and the Fabulous Emancipation of One Harley Quinn. Uh, this theme film came out before that. The basic premise is it's about these four people that essentially serve as a metaphor for the rapid urbanization of Chinese cities. I think. That's what someone on mine said, and they sounded like they knew what they were talking about. So let's just say that's what the premise is. Because if I don't say that, I don't know what the premise of this movie is, really. After they establish, like, the five stories, they just kind of tread water for the rest of the movie. Nothing really changes or happens for most of the movie. Like, you could legit cut out probably, like, an hour of this movie, and that ending would still make the exact same amount of sense, which, to be fair, that ending didn't really make any sense. It was kind of a musical ending. And by kind of, I mean like everyone started singing and then like the words popped up on screen with like the thing going along. So like you could legit sing along to it, like a karaoke thing or something. I don't know what that was about. It just happened. Yeah, I, I really, I really did not get this movie and really did not enjoy my experience with this movie. It was shot well and I liked the characters at times. They just, again, fretted water for most of the things. So it was just like, not a whole lot to enjoy. Didn't hate the movie though, so that's good. It was, it was okay-ish. I don't really recommend it. Maybe we'll strike a chord with you, but it's just, it just was completely lost on me. And that sucks because I wanted to like it a lot. Also, I don't get why the pigs are dying. There's, like, there's 15,000 pigs that die. They don't know why that happens. It just happens. That's where the name of the movie comes from, is there's a lot of dead pigs. It's not metaphorical. Well, it could be metaphorical. I just don't get the metaphor. They did literally die in the movie, though. That's a plot point. And lastly is... Made. This is a 2001 film written, directed, and starring Jon Favreau and then co-starring Vince Vaughn. It is my second movie of both of them this year. 
The basic premise is John Favreau plays a bodyguard slash driver for his stripper girlfriend, uh, but they're trying to, him and Vince Vaughn are trying to like get into this crime organization, so they're given a chance, and that's what the whole movie is, is them given a chance to try to join this organization. So with this movie, I've now seen all of John Favreau's movies that he's directed, except for one, uh, and out of all of them, this one is easily my least favorite. And that definitely has to do with Vince Vaughn's character. Because he's just like the worst. Just he's just he's the worst. He's the worst. So basically, he's just doing nothing with his life. He's really just he's literally just pretending to sweep and getting paid for that. Um, and then finally, once he gets his big opportunity to, you know, be like a made man, he's just at every single corner, he is his own worst enemy. He just, he just, you're just constantly yelling at the TV for him to just shut up because if he shuts up, he'll be happy. But no, he has to just constantly talk and constantly like antagonize people and flirt with people who don't want to be flirted with. And just like, ah. But if he just stopped talking for two seconds and just appreciated what was happening or just did what he was told, he would be so happy, and the movie would have no conflict, and everything would be fine, and it would be good. But no, he just can't shut up. It was shot really well. There's like lots of little things that I liked about it. I, though I did end up I originally put this in the didn't like category because it was easy didn't like. But then like I was looking at the movies that were in meh, and I was like, well, it's not worse than I still believe. Because that movie's bad. So yeah, I was disappointed that I didn't end up liking this movie at all. Uh, but, you know, John Favreau had to start somewhere, and he's made much better movies, as you're aware. Uh, but yeah, I don't don't recommend this one. If you're going to go through his back catalog, you, you can skip this one. Alrighty! So for today's rankings, first up is Quick and the Dead. It's in the really liked category, in number 10. It's just so good and so great, you should definitely watch it. Uh, and then next up is Dead Pigs, sitting at 38 in the meh category. It's near-ish to the top of meh, but we'll see. Uh, and then bringing up the rear is Made, also in the meh category, sitting at 41 out of a total of 51 movies so far this year.